HTTV with Illingworth and Gregory with Chairman Dean Hoyle. This afternoon, Dean, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Um, we haven't spoken to you since the semi-final, first of all, so uh, mm. we saw you on Sky looking like the most relieved man in the world. Talk us through the emotions for you for that night. Um, it's really hard to describe. Um, I think for Huddersfield Town to actually get into the position they're in, into the playoff league final, which, let's be fair, uh, financially one of the biggest games in the world um, is, is incredible but we're there on merit um, and for us to get there on penalties uh, 90 minutes um, Naki scoring um, Forrest here missing the penalty the the emotion Jack Payne missing missing his um, I always had this this in my mind that the, in penalties the, the, the team who misses first always goes on to win which it's what happened was in 2012 at Sheffield United. Um, so when Jack Payne missed the penalty, I did think to myself, wow. Um, and when Forestieri missed that penalty, um, I think Daniel, my son, just grabbed me and it was just the most emotional thing in the world. Um, very similar to, to Wembley in 2012. Um, but, you know, the, the, the lads deserve huge credit to going to that cauldron of noise um, and intimidating atmosphere um, and to come from 1-0 down with Sheffield Wednesday's um, um, home record, uh, goals against record and um, they've done brilliant and I think it really just bode them well for the final um, which will be a very even affair I'm sure. You, you talked about the 2012 yep. penalty shootout, we've talked before about one of your favourite Huddersfield Town memories being that penalty shootout at Brentford. Yeah, 22 years to the night was it? To the night, yeah, wow. I was going to say, so in, in your Huddersfield Town memories, where does that now rank compared to Brentford? Which you always no two ways about it, um, the Hillsborough surpasses that, um, I think the, the magnitude of the occasion, what's at stake, um, the way we came from behind, everything about it, um, it it's on a different level um, and I can say that now and sometimes uh, memories are created over time but that is probably the uh, the most enjoyable moment and it, it definitely does surpass uh, Brentford 22 years ago which was an unbelievable night as well. Mm. All that's come this season and, and including the semi-finals yeah. and the two legs has come through hard work. How, how pleased are you for everyone that's been involved in this because you see it firsthand how hard everyone's working out here every single day this season Do you know i'm pleased for i'm pleased for everybody and it's not just um um it's not just the players and david um because they've had um fantastic recognition i think it's um the staff and the people behind the scenes um you know our phones are ringing you know we're not phoning people um people are really excited and we've got lots of people david who've worked here for years and years and years, long before my my time here, and they they for us to be able to um, um, get to the promised land, it will be a dream come true. Not just for Huddersfield Town Football Club, but everybody who's associated with it, the fans, um, everybody. You know, uh, we've had people doubting us. I understand that, um, but to get there, it will be the most incredible moment. I think. Um, this club has ever ever witnessed and uh, but we've got a job to do you know Reading um, are going to be a tough um, uh, uh, team to crack they showed against Fulham they're a great team and they deserve it to be there just like us they've been up there all season uh, people have doubted them um, um, probably not as much as us uh, but they've doubted them and they've come really through and I'm really pleased for them and uh, they're really good people at Reading uh, we like the directors very much um, so it'll be a great occasion and um, um, like we say, a lick of paint between the teams and uh, let's see who comes out on top. You're absolutely right. I mean, we, we talked about this against Sheffield Wednesday, how tight the two games in yep. the regular league season. No difference with Reading, there's been a goal either way when we've played them twice. A lot of parallels to us, unique style of play that's been yep. brought in by the head coach. It does have all the ingredients for a fantastic occasion. It's, look, it's going to be an absolutely unbelievable occasion. I was very fortunate to be invited by Eden, the chairman of Bradford, to go and watch Bradford versus Millwall on Saturday. And I went to the Royal Box um, and you know, I went with Daniel. And I, When we came out before kick-off, out of the lounge in the back, into the arena, I stopped and my heart kind of stopped because although we've been to Emily before, I just thought to myself, goodness me, 12 months, uh, sorry, a week on Monday, uh, on Bank Holiday Monday, Huddersfield Town, they can call us courageous, plucky, little dog, underdog, but Huddersfield Town Football Club, 
established in 1908 is going to be on the stage a 50% chance of achieving the unthinkable um, and it really hit home and um, it was a bit like going for a pre-op you know, I, I, to put through this, I mean, unfortunately Bradford didn't win and um, you know Bradford wished us really well, uh, fantastic people and they all said well look if we haven't done it can you do it for West Yorkshire now so we'll give it our best shot um, and, and let's see whether we can, it be a really tough game but something I'm, I'm, I can't wait for, happy days. You're not the only one, we, we've seen yeah. Crowds, the public of Huddersfield has been galvanised all season by this team. We've seen that in the gates at the Johnson yeah. Stadium. We sat here last night, latest update, 35,000 tickets sold for this game. We're reaching levels that I've never seen before as a Huddersfield Town fan yeah. as an employee. What do you make of the, the level of support so far? For this team? I think, um, to take, let's be fair, I, th I think Wembley have just released another thousand tickets yeah, to yes, us. Correct. So I think we're at 30, 39 available now, and I think we're probably a couple of thousand left. Uh, for us to take 40,000 supporters um, to Wembley, it probably the biggest mass exodus Huddersfield has ever seen. Um, I went down to Wembley on Saturday, um, and, and the Bradford fans going down with scarves out of the windows, and coaches, and minibuses. Leicester Forest Service Station, a bit like in '94 when when we went with there with uh, against Bristol Rovers, magnificent occasion. Um, but like Bradford did say to us, um, it's a really bad place to lose. But if you can if you can do the business there, it's the most wonderful place. So um, oh, I'm sure whatever happens, our players will give everything. One of the things that's important to talk about as well, we announced it this morning, is yeah. your bike ride to Wembley. So My bike ride? Like you did in 2012. I'm superstitious. Absolutely. But isn't just that, there's obviously a very, very worthy cause. Well, there is. I think um, <laughs> last time we did it for um, um, uh, underprivileged kids, what we're trying to do now is bring all face together. Um, what happened with Joe Cotts um, in Bristol, which is the centre of our community. Um, we know Kim Lidbetter, um, Joe's sister very well. Um, her parents are Huddersfield fans, they're going to Wembley. Um, we've got to try and do something to bring more face together and share a great experience. Football is a world sport. Everybody knows football. If we can bring um, people through success under an umbrella, uh, fantastic. So we're going to do it. Kim may even also be doing the bike ride with us. Um, she's out practicing this afternoon, so we'll see what happens there. Um, six or seven of us doing it. Um, the weather's going to be fantastic, so we'll slip our, slap our sun cream on and it'd be brilliant. So, um, we're really looking forward to it, but for a fantastic cause as well. So, um, if those people can come down and um, we can take something from the day, uh, and the football club has the duty. Um, so, it's not just about our supporters, it's bringing more people into our, our family as well. Dean, the, you could see from the celebrations after Sheffield Wednesday, yeah. which getting to Wembley meant to everyone connected with Huddersfield Town, but I think it's important just to finish to say that every stone's being turned, well, there's no stone left unturned here to there make, isn't, no. make this uh, every chance to be as successful as we can be. Everyone's working as hard as possible to, to make this a day to remember. Right? Yeah, and let's be fair, you know, um, this season for me personally has been an emotional roller coaster. Um, there's been lots of um, ups and downs to the outside. People will think it's been everything but wonderful but behind the scenes there's been lots of ups and downs um, I've had to really fight um, uh, tooth and nail to keep things together um, and all I can say is let's go to Wembley on Monday Huddersfield Town yeah Huddersfield Town in the biggest financial game in the world uh, with a chance and so have Reading it'll be a, a very I would expect an even contest um, and let's see what happens but for me I'm really proud um, I had a tear in my eye when Sean texted me through to say we sold 35,000. That is really um, emotional. Um, it just shows what a wonderful club this is and uh, we really, really want to do this. And uh, like I say, um, if we don't achieve, it won't be through the want of trying. And uh, let's go and have a great day out.